Liverpool got back to winning ways again on Monday night as they beat Leicester City at the King Power Stadium 3-0. In today's video, we'll go over the five major talking points from the match, whilst also discussing the two deals Liverpool have agreed. Not only that, but we'll also go over all the latest Liverpool news from the last 24 hours. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Before we get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. After leaving Liverpool last summer, Sadio Mane has struggled to ignite his Bayern Munich career and could leave soon according to reports. Mane will always be a hero for Liverpool supporters, but he has yet to endear himself into Bayern fans in the season he has spent in Bavaria. After sighing for Bayern on a deal worth £35 million last summer, Mane started brightly at his new club but has since tailed off. Having scored just one Bundesliga goal since October, new manager Thomas Tuchel looks increasingly likely to leave the Senegalese attacker out of his plans. Sky Sport Germany's journalist Florian Plattenberg reports, It remains the same, Mane is a candidate for departure. He has no future at Bayern. The Bayern bosses also expect his departure because they cannot imagine that Mane would spend a year on the bench. The report added, the question remains as to which club could even lift Mane's high salary over 20 million euros. In this case, the most realistic option seems to be the Premier League with its financially strong clubs. Recently, Plettenberg was also quoted by Get German Football News as telling Sky90 that the Bundesliga club will try everything to move Mane on, with Tuchel claimed to have no plans for him. While Mane had an excellent finish to his Liverpool career, there had been a notable drop-off in his performance until he moved more central. This may have covered some cracks in the attacker's game as he got older. Mane is now 31 years old and past his peak. He still has a few years left of his career, but a move back to Liverpool is highly unlikely. With his old club Southampton relegated to the Championship, he won't be making a return to St Mary's either. There are plenty of teams that he would improve. Unless he were to take a salary cut, bigger teams would surely avoid him now he has passed his peak. Just a quick one guys, we do have Liverpool t-shirts available on our website, so do browse the collection by going to copiteclothing.com or going down into the link in the description. We also offer free UK shipping on all orders. Let's get back into the video. We're getting to that time a year again where contracts are coming to an end, and it's up to the club whether they want to extend the deals for players. Liverpool have announced that they have given a new contract to both Jarrell Kwanzaa and Isaac Mambea. Kwanzaa split his time between the academy and Bristol Rovers this season, featuring 16 times for Joe Barton's side in League One on an individual loan spell. The 20-year-old played the full 90 minutes on 14 different occasions. It could have been more had it not been for a red card after he leaned in with his head in a confrontation. With his domestic season now over, Liverpool have made sure to extend the young defender's contract before he jets off to Argentina for the Under-20 World Cup. The club confirmed his new deal on Friday, with Kwanzaa likely to get his chance to catch the eye early on in pre-season. As for Mabea, he was among the young standouts during pre-season last year, making four appearances throughout the Reds' warm-up friendlies as he caught the eye. The 18-year-old academy player was deployed at right-back but was also capable of excelling in midfield and earned his first call-up to the England under-19s in September. However, a long-term ankle injury has ruled Mabea out since October, derailing his promising form of the Liverpool under-21s and any further senior exposure. This week, though, the club have signalled their faith in the Preston-born youngster who has signed a new long-term contract. Mabea, who made seven appearances for the under-21s and three for the under-19s prior to his injury, will be seen as a part of a new core of homegrown talent on the fringes of Jurgen Klopp's squad. His ability to operate as both at right-back and a midfielder could be interesting, of course, given Trent Alexander-Arnold's recent shift into the hybrid role. The teenager undoubtedly has a long way to go until he can challenge Alexander-Arnold, however, with Calvin Ramsey and Connor Bradley also convincing options at this stage. For now, Mambea's priority will be returning to full fitness and potentially rejoining the senior squad for another chance in the next preseason. He is nearing that return, having joined another long term absentee, James Balgazi, for sessions at the AXA Training Center in April. As we mentioned in the intro, Liverpool beat Leicester City on Monday night 3 0, and in this part of the video, we'll discuss the five major talking points from the clash. In favour, 11 show their value. 
Jurgen Klopp reverted to what his most favoured 11 in this season's running, whether that's seen as the best side or merely the one which works finest in the new setup. With a slow start in terms of attacking play and movement, the Reds didn't take long to ease themselves into control of the ball and looked largely settled and solid in defensive teams before those quick-fire goals made Leicester's head drop. Fabinho and Canate were improved after a couple of less-than-stellar outings in the not-too-distant past, while Luis Diaz had a tough first 45 and a better second one. With just a couple of matches to play, it's hard to see too many changes in the lineup remaining, which suggests these are the 11 in the driving seat before the summer transfers are made. Super Curtis Jones It was probably already the best running of his career, but it's definitely now. Curtis Jones has been really important tactically over the last few weeks, ever improving from a defensive perspective and now in the last few weeks, also showing all that technical quality he has which comes with a game time confidence and goals apparently. Jones had only nine to his name in his career before Monday night and had never hit a brace despite being predominantly an attacker or even wide forward when coming through the system. Bit by bit though, we've seen those attacking instincts on display again during this run of games and his first against the Foxes was almost a carbon copy of his goal against Tottenham at Anfield, first time running onto a clip ball to the back post. The second was pure teenage Jones though, in a dangerous area, back to goal, great touch, instant turn and a brilliant hit, which displayed the massive level of confidence he has right now. Key to attack. Jones goal obviously, but we need to touch on a couple of other performances here too. First, the player we've spoken about probably more than any other in the last five years, Mohamed Salah. Three assists on Monday night take him to 10 for the Premier League campaign, meaning he's in touching distance of yet another season, totaling 20 or more goals and 10 or more assists. He got 23 and 13 last term, plus 32 goals and 10 assists back in the 2017-18 season. Few players achieve that double milestone in a single campaign, let alone do it multiple times. One more goal and Mo will take it to three times, and he should have had that with 10 minutes left on the clock, missing a routine one-on-one. Secondly, Cody Gagpo. He wasn't central to everything in an obvious way, but he won back possession so many times with tackles or toe-ins, he linked well with those around him, and on another day he probably scores his own one-on-one. But he was involved in some decent build-up, freed Salah for his big chance, and generally looks a very strong fit through the middle when the Reds are playing well. System is here to stay. Klopp wasn't too shy in acknowledging that the new system is now basically the system Liverpool will be playing this way by going forward, it seems. That means two things. Trent Alexander-Arnold is more important than ever, arguably creative and tenacious and roving in positions as he is, but also that's it imperative to the club finds a way to replace him. Rotationally, and when form or fitness dictate, it must be so, without losing everything he brings. It's a hard act to pull off in a transfer window, we need to achieve a lot already, but you can't pile into the importance of one player and leave the side without an alternative to him. But at Leicester, it was vintage Trent. Great passing range, lovely deliveries, plenty of ball winning, and a thunderbolt free kick to top it all off, Trent at his best. Final countdown in more ways than one. Two games to go, we'll get there in a minute. The other countdown which is clearly on is those players set to leave after years at the club, Bobby Firmino, chief among them. And the strength of feeling at the club for the departing Brazilian was made abundantly clear in fact that for a full 10 minutes before Trent's thunderbolt, the travelling cop did nothing but relentlessly serenade him, smiling in the stands. Post-match, the rest of the squad got him down on the pitch and the chance and waving continued. My word, we'll miss him when he's gone. But beyond the summer, those who remain will hope still that the Reds are playing in the Champions League. This victory moves the Reds to one point behind both Newcastle and Manchester United, third and fourth. Both having played one fewer, it means we'll still need them to slip up more times. And the odds remain against it, but winning out the season with a nine in a row is all the Reds can do. So far in that regard, it's all going well. Liverpool fans, what did you make of the win last night? Please do let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. Please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Remember, we do have Liverpool merchandise available on our website, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go to cobbikeclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.